In the last video, we looked at how to display the issue on receive of the items on this page. Okay, so anytime an item is issued out or received, it will copy the content to a different table, and we can pull that table and list it out on this page. In this video, what we want to do is to be able to filter this content. Okay, let's say if I want to see only the phones, I can just select the category, select phones, and click search. So it will filter to just phones like if you look at the category you see only the phones listed out okay let's say we want to look at the other category which is a computer category and click filter or click search we should be able to see only that i can do filter based on the item name as well okay let's say i want to see all the apple devices i click search it filters it down to the apple devices okay so this is what we want to achieve in this video so if you are not a subscriber and you enjoy videos like this, you might consider subscribing so that you will not miss our future videos. We have all the codes on the blog side as usual and that is video number 31. Alright, so the first step is to create the stock search form and if you have been following this series from the beginning, we've already have that. That is this class, like if I go into the forms.py, we should be able to have that form created right here, okay. If you don't have it, just copy this code and paste it in your forms.py right so the next step is to go into the list history view and then create an if statement all right so what that if statement will do is to be able to do a search function i'm going to copy this and paste it right in there in the views.py i'm going to look for the list history view and right below this context i'm going to paste the code all right so this form i'm going to move it up it can be right there but i'm gonna move it up a bit because i have all the variables on that section now this is the code i just copied all right including the form so this is just the regular form assignment that we've been doing on all the other views okay so now this statement right here if request that method is post if we do a search function like if we click on the search button on the application we're gonna create a post request okay and that post request is in the code that we're gonna copy and paste right in there like if I scroll down this is the form that I'm gonna put in the list history template okay so if you look at it the method is post and once we do the post we're gonna trigger this condition okay so we're gonna have a category as a variable okay and this variable I'm gonna explain this shortly but what I'm gonna do is to jump to this other section and then come back to this okay so now what we want to do is if the request that method is post that is if we click on the search button we're gonna do a query and we're gonna have a query set which is gonna be equal to the stock history the objects so we're gonna look into the stock history table okay and then grab all the items from there and then filter it based on the item name that contains the item name that we have okay like if i go to the application and then type the name of the item right here like if i type apple and I click search it's gonna look at whatever i type in there and then filter whatever is in the stock history object or stock history table okay so it's gonna filter it to whatever i type in the field okay and the field will be the item name field so once we have this query set okay which is filtered based on the item name okay so now we're gonna do another query set if category is not empty then we're gonna do another query set and in that query set we're gonna look at the category id and then filter it to whatever was passed in so since i have this variable category which is equal to whatever was passed in in the form like if i switch over to the application we have this form so these fields right here they're not just text field or character fields they would be represented by an id like let's say the phone might be an id of one and the the computer can be an id of two okay so we're gonna we're not gonna select the computer text but the id of that computer okay so because we're doing that we cannot use i contains like we have it in the item name all right so that's the reason i have this filter to the category id so whatever category id was passed in through this form let's say if we selected phone that might be an id of one so this category will be equal to one 
so we can now do a filter and say category id is equal to one all right but that is gonna be filtered only when the category is not empty that means if we select something from this field but if not it's gonna skip this query and we're gonna have only this as that query set so that will now be displayed on the template okay all right so i'm gonna save this if i click list items form will be gone because we have to have it right here okay i'm gonna have this form also on this context right here and then save it all right now if i refresh we should be able to have the form all right we should be able to have the form when we add the form in the templates all right so i forgot to do that so i'm gonna move to that step that is the step number three okay i'm gonna copy this and paste it in list history template right here okay just below this div i'm gonna paste it right here and click save refresh and we should be able to have that form it's still not coming so we need to check why it is not coming i'm gonna switch back to the view all right we have form right here we have form right here i'm gonna save this and then check over the history list history okay sometimes what happens is if you configure all the settings and still now uh, some things are not working what you can do is to stop the server and run it again maybe that might solve the issue i'm gonna refresh again okay so this keeps happening to, i don't know why it happens but uh sometimes if you try to configure everything and nothing is coming just stop the server and then run it again all right so we're gonna do the test i'm gonna filter based on the category okay so let's do the computer category all right so that's working let's test based on the item name i'm gonna type laptop okay we have the laptop right there i'm gonna type apple okay so this is working and if i leave everything blank and click search it should be able to give me all the items from the database okay so the next step is to be able to do the export to csv okay so this is just the same as what we did when we are doing the list item view okay or the list item export so i'm gonna copy the next part of the code right here the condition and paste it within the post request okay so i'm gonna switch to the views and paste it right in this if condition okay I'm gonna paste it just below this paste it right here okay I'm gonna click save and then test that I should be able to have a file exported and right here we have the file exported okay so if you want to have an in-depth explanation of how this file has been exported you can check the video that I will put in the description or maybe somewhere around in this video okay so we've already covered that so that will be able to help you to understand how to export this file to a csv you can export all the items from the database i have about seven items okay if i click on the export it's gonna give me all the seven items we have one two eight including the category now if i filter it down to the category and click export is gonna give me just that category okay you can see we have only one item and likewise the item name as well okay now if i leave this blank and i choose just the apples and i click export or press enter you can see with that we have only the specified items we want to see okay so you should be able to um filter it down to the specific items that you want to see and then also export it okay if you only want to view it you just have to remove the checkbox and then click search then it will give you that item if you want to export it just click on the export and click search and it will export that item for you you can rename this checkbox to export slash search if you want but this is what we have just accomplished in this video so with that said we've able to um export or filter this table and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to click on the like button. 
click on the subscribe button if you enjoy videos like this and see you in the next video